Hey friends, it is Stephanie with Three Queens Resale, and today we are cleaning shoes. So if you want to see how to get those shoes, pre-owned shoes, perfect and ready to sell, stay tuned. Resale where the deals just shine. Boss ladies on the grind every single time. From fitness to new, they got the fashion view. Step into their world, you feel brand new. Got Gucci, got Prada, got everything you crave. The passion for fashion is what they bravely gave. Resale getting strong and the ladies in command. Three Queens Resale. Hey friends, it's Stephanie with Three Queens Resale. And if you are new to my channel, welcome in. And if you are reseller bestie, welcome back besties. It is always great to get feedback on my videos. So please leave me a comment, engage with the video, and make sure you watch all the way through for my three best sh selling shoe brands. So let's get into the video. So shoes are an enigma. <laughs> so they can be a lot of work, um, but also they can be a lot of value in shoes. As you guys know, I source at the Goodwill outlet, also known as the bins, and the shoe situation is chaotic. The shoes are not made it up. You have to play this big memory match game. People are going crazy over shoes. And if everyone else is going crazy over it, you should too because that's where the value is. So I suggest you take a buddy. I have to go it alone most days, but you get in there and you get ready to throw some bows. Let's start off with our first pair of shoes for the... So this is my setup where I clean shoes. Um, this is down in our basement area. There's, you know, all of my other boxes and stuff, but um, I have a sink, a little kitchenette down here, and the only thing I use this for is to clean shoes. So I put the shoes and bags on this side of the counter. I like to mate them up, and I source things all year round. I like to put them in categories. So I've already done um, all the boots because they were the most important. It is boot season, so I wanted to get those clean so we can get all those listed. And then um, I just kind of go from same t type of fabric so I can use the same type of tools. So today, I don't wanna hold you all day. We'll, we'll make this a quick video. So I'll do three different types of shoes um, to show you how we can do what we do. So first, I'm gonna start with the Uggs because Uggs can get some value, but they can also come in a really beat up situation. So these Ugg are Ugg loafers. They can be worn outside and they don't look bad from the offset, but I'm just gonna take you through my process of cleaning Ugg shoes. Okay, so I've got my Ugg shoes and friends. This is uh, gonna be scare some of you guys, so don't be alarmed. So I use for all suede products this Ugg, the Ugg um, cleaning kit, but I use it like on bare paws and anything really suede. Um, I got this off of Am Oops, off of Amazon. And so, and they sent me a bunch of extras. I don't know why, maybe it was an accident, but I kept them. So there's three steps that it comes with. The protector, the um, cleaner and conditioner, and the shoe renew. So I basically just like to use, cause I'm reselling these, the shoe renew and the clean and conditioner. Then of course I finish up with the protector and I also use the protector on my own Uggs, of course. So we're gonna get started. But like I said, I use this these steps for all of my um, suede products. So, so, see, so we're gonna start off with cleaning out my little, look at all that like yuck that comes off the of shoes. So like I said, um, cleaning shoes is I avoid it, but <laughs> there is a profit in it. And so I'm gonna try to be more consistent with forcing shoes and doing the cleanup. So in our directions, um, do not swallow, of course, directly. So you don't wanna apply this directly to the material. 
I apply, it says apply to a small sponge. I just put a few drops because a little goes a long way in my little thingy here. And fill it up with water. And then I just go to town. I um, wipe down the whole shoe, the whole shoe with this stuff. So with my little brush, this is a Scotch Bright brush. I think I got it at the Dollar Tree. I just get the clean the whole shoe, do a little scrub, and you should go from back to front so the fibers all go the same way. Just give her a little clean up, and this does not hurt the shoe. I've rescued so many shoes with this cleaned up white Uggs. These are black, I think, is the best to get because they show the least amount of dirt and they're the easiest to repair. So all over, we just give her a little scrub. These didn't have any like really things to note. Um, so we have her all saturated. And it's, I think it's best to do the whole shoe, not just where the their stains are, because you want it, when it dries, to all be the same color still. Um, and I'm going to get up here. This is a little harder. I'm going to get up here and get the, what is this, the vamp of the shoe. Get under that bow. And it looks pretty good inside, so I'm not going to worry about the inside. I'll show you what we do with that. And then... I wipe it off, see? And I wipe from back to forward, all the way around, from back of the shoe to forward, make sure all the fibers are going the same way. And then I let them dry. Now, so that is the just a simple cleaning. You can do the shoe renew where you spray it on um, to deodorize the insoles. So that's, this is the shoe renew. If you don't have the Ugg kit, what are you even doing with your life? No, and I'm generous, but if you don't have the Ugg kit, that's okay. Just get yourself some Febreze, Febreze from like the Dollar Tree and just put it in there. And then we're going to let it air dry and we do the same. Oh, guys, look, we can't sell these. Look, so I didn't catch that. Um, as you can see, you could sell this and let someone know they might want to stitch it back up, but I'm not going to fool with it. But that's how you clean Uggs. So bummer on the Uggs. We're going to have to toss those, but Uggs are a good shoe. And I am tossing them. I'm not going to donate them because those are pretty damaged and I wouldn't want someone else to make the mistake I made and pick those up and um, get them home. So we are going to go. So other shoes that would fall in like that category are these Minnetonkas. Same type of suede situation. I would treat those the exact same way. Use my Ugg Care Kit um and do the exact same thing with those so let's pick and i'm going to show you guys these two these same situation anything that suede um fiber you can use that ug kit on trust me i've done it for five years on everything so next up these are euro soft by soft and they are, oh, these are like a suede as well. I'm going to put those to the side because I want to show you guys something else. Got a lot of sweat today, friends. We'll do a pair of sneakers. Sneakers, friends, are a lot of work. But they can, like I said, reap some benefits. So this time, step one, inspect that the shoes are not damaged. So we'll do that. So you do want to check the shoes when you're sourcing. Like I said, I source at the Goodwill outlet and sometimes I get so excited just to even find mates. So those eggs are definitely a blow to the spirit. But next up, you definitely wanna double check at home too, preferably before you start cleaning. Um, I like to check right here at the toe because I feel like if you have a toe dragger, um, this can get really like 
damaged. And then I also checked like the tread at the back because if this is worn down um, or any really the soles, any really signs of like wear like that are lopsided, like this is general wear, but like say they like are really hard on the heel or they pronate and they walk inwards. Um, and so the inside of their shoes get drawn, get worn down quicker. Um, and then of course, I like to check that the insole is in there. Um, people pull insoles out all the time. I have a pair of orthotics that I have to pull inserts in, pull out to put my inserts in. And when they oftentimes when they resell their shoes or donate their shoes, they don't put those inserts back. And a person is going to probably want that um, if you know, on the pre-owned market. So just do a little once over to make sure the shoe has, is in good shape before you start cleaning because you don't want to waste your time like I did. So it is, so these are tinnies and we're going to get started with the cleaning. So I always, I, I feel like it's like cleaning the kitchen. I always do the countertops or the top first and then I work on the bottom. So, um, this is a fabric you could throw them in the washer um and some i have done things like that if they're really damaged but i just like to take my brush and and scrub and i have several different things several different potions in the motion here i have this is just straight peroxide so um i can i like to spray that on and also i'm gonna do the camera down hold on friends Okay, so here we go. You can you can get the shoes wet. And I think that cuz they they're, they're going to dry. So, I like to There's some crazy hair in here. But I got her. And these are really good on the inside. Look at that. Really good on the inside. So, worth the effort here. So, this is straight peroxide. Um that I got from our grocery store. It's just peroxide, 100%. Oops, water going in there. And so we're just going to wet it down. And then I'm going to spray it with the peroxide. And this peroxide is super economical, so you can get use it as much as you want. And then... I'm just going to go to town scrubbing. And since this is like a nylon, you don't have to be as like um, specific with the direction. You just want to like try to see, get any visible dirt. You are going to mention that these are pre-owned, of course, in your listing. Like there's some black spot there that I'm going to try to address. It definitely, I don't know if you guys can see it, but... I put my finger in there. There's like a little black spot right where my thumb is. And I'm just going to scrub. See if we can get that. And uh, that's some all-purpose cleaner. I typically use that on the bottoms. But... Mm. I think that's as good as we can get for that. And then we're going to just go around and get the top of the shoe. And that is lemon scented, so it's gonna make the shoe smell good as well. Make sure you get all the back. So I feel like the top to look good. So I'm gonna work on now the sole. The, but um, you might need to do a little tougher um, cleaning on these. Sometimes it just like, see, this is a baby wipe. Sometimes it just takes a little elbow grease. Just some more peroxide there. And I am heavy handed <laughs> with the peroxide, friends. Um, I know some people use magic eraser. You have to just try whatever you have. Um, you I would stay away from things that might bleach because you don't want to change the color so you can see that's starting to look 100% better a little more right there a little bit more elbow grease let's see if we can get that 
And I'm not afraid to use my edge cleaner too. Look, let's come up. So that's good. Make sure you get it all the way around. And even though they're pre-owned, they're gonna be new to someone else. And we want them to look as nice as they can. And like I said, some of these shoes are perfectly okay to throw in the washer. These are, and if they're really dirty, I do. But this one isn't that bad. And I am super anal about the cleaning of shoes, so this is one job that I let my husband do, but I kind of took it back. <laughs> And since you are selling them pre-owned, you don't really have to scrub up the bottoms. I just do. And like I said, it's okay to get the shoes wet, lather it up, and really go into town. Get rinse off. And friends, I do market things pre-owned. I don't really care about getting that Goodwill um, label off or that price that they put with their marker. And this shoe retails or uh, resells for about $35. So here's the bottom. Bottom. And there is our clean shoe. I'm going to clean up the other room real quick and I'll be right back. So the final shoe we're going to clean today are these Isaac Miserati Live like driving loafers. And the reason I picked these up is because they are a size 11, a women's size 11 which is a unique, a larger size, and they're leather. So leather needs to be treated a little differently because, although leather is very durable. Now, I have a few things that I use for leather, but the one I'm really into right now is this uh, Chemical Guys leather conditioner. I have right here. I don't have that linked in my Amazon store, but I did buy it off of Amazon. And I also, that's way cleaner. This is really what I've been kind of using. So for the first thing we're gonna do with these leather shoes is we're going to get this sticker out. And so that is easy peasy. I do have these, I forgot what they're called. Little peeler things, they are in my Amazon store. But you just get in there and get them out. Um, I love it when they put the label on the bottom of the shoe because I don't feel like it matters as much on the bottom. And it's easy, it's okay to leave residue because this is gonna leave some residue, but we'll, I get it started with my fingers and then kind of get it going, okay. So we got the label out for the most part. Dust has some res residue. So I'm gonna spray my trusty dusty peroxide on there. Um, it's like nature's um, castor oil or science's castor oil. And then get that soft. Then just, I'm just scraping out. Let me make the camera lower. I'm just scraping out with my, I think this is like a called a Johnny Peeler because I don't want to damage the inside lining of the shoe. So I just want to make that soft enough to just scrape it out. And then so I've scraped it out and then take one of my baby wipes. So um, one of the reason a lot of people don't want to fool with shoes is because a lot of us hate other people's feet. So, because feet are, can be funky. So, um, I use these baby wipes to wipe them out. Um, 
and I don't have any down here, but also Clorox wipes as well. Um, <clears throat> I also like to use, um, as just a general cleanup, these Miracle Wipes for leather. They're linked down below in my Amazon list as well. So these, sometimes all the shoes need is this. So there's the leather wipe and the shoe, and just to just give her a wipe down. And like these bottoms are good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a wipe down with a baby wipe. Now back here, there is a little bit of, although with the leather, leather wipe, it kind of cleaned it up a little bit, a little scuffing. So I definitely put some leather conditioner there. But like I said, leather shoes are really, really resilient. And so in my opinion, they are the best to pick up. I would have stopped fooling with vegan leather and other things. Um, so there's a bag. And then this leather conditioner, after the leather wipe, actually I'm putting it on with the leather wipe. It just gives it a little bit of a shine and brings it back to life. So if the soles of your leather shoe are good, like not in good, like dirty leather, I would do the sole first. I would just go ahead and like soap it up and clean up the sole first and make sure take the leather wipe and the conditioner and get all around those edges, especially at the toe. Because it just is going to make the show. Look at that. That looks like a brand new shoe. Look at that. And so I'm just going to wipe the bottom off with this towel. And these are good to go. So friends, I promised you. I promised that I would share with you the three best brands of shoes, or in my opinion, that sell quick and for quick money. So if you're listening, get your pad ready and let's hit it. First off are Sorrel boots. Not their sandals, not their loafers, not anything else, but their, their boots. So if you can get your hands on Sorrel, they, and good condition they sell really well fifty dollars and up the second one are hokas i was on the hoka train before they were a thing um i remember the first pair of hokas that i tried on and i was like oh, these are like little clouds and everybody made fun of me because of the thick sole on the hokas like why are you walking and wearing those crazy looking shoes now they are on fire so if you can find hoka tennis shoes they also do some sandals and flip flop flops really th anything in the hoka brand h-o-k-a snatch it up clean it up get it listed and then my last one i and these are shoes that i feel like you should be able to find at the goodwill outlet of course prada of course gucci of course all those high-end designer shoes but those are like pie in the sky but the next one that you can find pretty easily in the bins are our tried and true uggs People still like Ugg boots, so make sure, and they are still very expensive. Anything with the Ugg label, their loafers, their boots, their high boots, it's going to flip within the winter season. So make sure you are, you are sourcing Uggs, Hoka's, and of course, Sorrel's for this season and flipping them, getting them cleaned up and flipped as soon as you can. So those are my tips for cleaning suede, athletic shoes, and leather shoes. And if you found value at all in this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing by clicking that subscribe. And of course, click that bell notification so you can get notified whenever I go live. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you in the next one, friends.
Three queens, Brazil, where the deals just shine. Boss ladies on the grind every single time. From victors to new, they got the fashion view. Step into their world, you feel brand new. Got Gucci, got Prada, got everything you crave. Their passion for fashion is what they bravely gave. Brazil getting strong and the ladies in command. Three queens, Brazil, taking over the land.